Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. Did I get the right save file? I did. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a pretty good day. Let's do a Maggie run to the dark room. We haven't done that uh, as of yet. We haven't played as Maggie in a while, in fact. I'm down for a little bit of Maggie action. Why not? We'll give it a go. Pretty lousy speed. Not the best damage in the world. Uh, we need to... Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's uh, that's not the position that you want to put yourself in. But uh, first floor, so it's not really that big of a deal. We're not hurting our, uh, our deal chances or anything like that. Uh, what we should probably do is pop the Yum Heart and use it right away. So it can start recharging. I can't imagine I'm gonna take that much damage on the first floor. It's just the first floor. There we go. A little bit of money. Got the little diglet guys. Get out of the way. Thank you. Careful. There we go. Oh, troll bomb. Okay. Don't want any piece of that. Um. <laughs> fast enemies. Maggie's downfall. We also did not find our item room yet, so we should probably go do that. That's kind of an important thing. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Binding of Isaac has been going well. I've been enjoying it. You guys have been enjoying it. We've been having a good time. Um, good stuff is happening. Oh, please, please don't uh, do that. And I'm happy to say uh, we are kind of making progress as far as the game goes. Face reward. Eh, it's okay. It's not great. Um, I wish we could have gotten a bomb. Because there's a tinted rock right here and a whole bunch of fun stuff here. And actually, I could have traded one bomb for two bombs, but oh well. It wasn't in the cards. I suppose it's possible that we could get a bomb against the boss, but uh, unlikely. And we're not going to get a bomb in this room because it's trapped by other things. So uh, I guess we'll just have to leave without any bomb. No bombs or keys on this floor, I just realized. That's not exactly the best, uh, the best consumable situation I've ever been in, that's for sure. Okay. Focus on the head. Okay, we need to take out these uh, these spiders. There's too many of them on the screen right now. These things need to go. Although, if we take damage, it's not that big of a deal. Please don't get hit. Still trying not to get hit. He, he stop summoning, stop summoning spiders, guy. Please. My damage. <laughs> Well, hopefully we'll get like a damage or a tears upgrade or something here so we can actually deal with these guys a little bit better in the future. Maggie. Maggie and damage. Hmm. Two things that don't... Or, or a speed upgrade. I would take a speed upgrade as well. Just something. Uh, face reward is just not... It, it's a. It's just a really mediocre item. It's It's kind of like a less good version of... Uh, of... Succubus? Incubus. Less good version of Incubus. Speaking of which, have we unlocked Lilith? I don't know that we've actually unlocked it, Lilith on this save file. I feel like we tried once, and then we haven't played as her. I'll, I'll check after this. Maybe that'll be our next run. We'll try to unlock uh, Lilith. I'm trapped in a corner. Wow, look at that. This is the longest boss fight ever, and I don't even have any bombs to speed up the process. Like, there's just so many of these guys on the screen at once. I'm trying to stay away. The problem with Fate's Reward is that it doesn't... It has, like, a, a ridiculously slow rate of fire. Finally, we're getting some damage in there. There we go. And dropped a Spirit Heart for us, which is really good for the next floor. It would be also great if we could make it out of this room without taking damage. Probably should have picked up that spirit heart actually after the after I cleared out these guys, but I don't think I'm going to get hit. I think we'll be fine. There we go. And you know what? It is a speed upgrade. Maggie's greatest weakness is probably her slow speed, so I'm happy to have it. Curse of the Blind. Lovely. That's maybe my least favorite of all curses. Because it really affects, uh, it really affects your game. Like, you you go into a shop and you don't know what's what, and like, it can really mess you up. Or you can, you know, pick up a, a run ruining item. You can pick up like a tiny planet or soy milk or uh, any number of other terrible items. 
Uh, that was really bad. Thank you. Luckily, I had that spirit heart. We also need keys. Like, I can't get into my item room, and we haven't seen a single key yet this entire run. Come on. There we go. There's our item room. Can't actually do anything about it at the moment, because I don't have any keys. That was so bad. Stupid stonies knocked me into the... Knocked me into the shot. That was just... Cheap. And this guy repels shots. I can't get in there. Because no keys. Uh, don't get hit by these. And this flame. Ow! There goes our deal chance. This is going to be one of those runs. I can just tell. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, let's, let's use our yum heart. There's no reason not to. I mean, I suppose we could wait to take another half heart of damage, but... Eh. Please give me a key. That is not a key, game. That is not a key. That is retrovision. I have n we have not gotten a single bomb or key yet on this entire run. Like, what is going on? Please, consumables, they're kind of important. And I don't have, like, super bad luck. I mean, I'm at zero, but that's a penny. That's not a key. And this is Super Wrath, who is, uh, yeah, that's not where I want to be. Apparently his bombs do hurt him. I should not have stood there. Well, we got bombs. And presumably, presumably, that's our secret room. That's not our secret room. Okay. Okay. Well, then we're kind of, uh, well, I suppose, where else could our secret room be? Our secret room could also be up here. Keys, please. That's, that's, game. Game, you're killing me here. <laughs> you're killing me. I, oh, and retrovision is driving me crazy. Uh, were there any tinted rocks that we missed? No. Um, I suppose vibrant bulb is a relatively good trinket. Let's pop. Let, let's get that. And I don't have any more bombs. Otherwise, I could have uh, a full charge with that battery going to the boss, which would be nice. But um, I mean, Yum Heart is one of those items that there's really no reason to use every time it's available. And with Vibrant Bulb, there might be like a good reason to not use it at all, even if we do take damage, unless we're in like a really bad situation where we're down to like a single heart or something. Okay, get out of the way of Monstro. All right, there we go. Yeah, keep jumping. It's easy to deal with you when you jump. Just not that big jump, little jumps. Or do the, uh, do the shooty attack. Monstro, please. All you want to do is jump at me. I mean, that's fine, I guess. There we go. We've almost got him though. Maybe, who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get, like, latch key or something here? Caffeine pill. So it's another speed up. I guess we'll take Guppy's paw? Yeah, you know what? Let's... Well, I shouldn't have done that. I instantly regret my decision. But we do get at least the bonus from, uh, from Vibrant Bulb. At all times. Like, it's a... When you have an item like I do right now that doesn't actually have a recharge, um, then we get the bonus constantly. So, it's good. Our speed is also actually very good. Oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Our damage, on the other hand, definitely leaves something to be desired. I mean, the Vibrant Bulb is a little tiny dam... Oh, that was so bad. It's a small damage upgrade. But, not a, not a big enough one. And we still have not gotten a single key on this run. So, if, we're, if this is going to be a run where we just don't get into item rooms, because we don't get any keys or secret rooms or anything like that to get into them, then I will be very sad. Come on. That's a penny. I don't need pennies. I need keys. Game, please. Work with... Oh, we got a key. Okay. So we'll at least be able to get into our item room on this floor. 
I'd like to get into our shop as well. If we can get... Ugh. So much bad damage. What's this? I'm drowsy. Okay. There we go. And this is a another I'm drowsy pill. Okay, so that's actually pretty useful. Uh, let's check our cursed room. Okay. It's a demon judgment. I don't need bombs to make use of it. Uh, I have a bomb. Well, you know what? Let's play him three times. Nothing. Okay. Well, you're getting blown up. Hmm. So that was not, uh, that did, that did not go very well. Stay out of the way of that. There we go. Almost. There we go. This run. This is, this is a dangerous one. I can just tell. Uh, I'm not gonna like this room at all. Because these guys explode into spiders. And they can quickly end up, like, everywhere? Can I one-shot these spiders? No. Two-shot. Okay. Uh, actually, this room worked out better than I thought it was going to. And it's Troll Bomb. Of course it is. Okay, we have over there a mob trap room that I can't get into. This is a relatively easy room, so I'm not too worried about this one. Just keep firing. It's always nice when the enemies can't really get to you. Do, 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 do. The flies are nothing I'm concerned with. Kill the, the spawner enemies first. There we go. Grandfather fly is a little bit more of a concern. Please die. And a key that I can't get to. Figures. There's our item room. I'm gonna get hit. I'm not... Uh, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah. Okay. And we have... Full heart. So... That does bring us back to 3 HP. I think we're gonna use Guppy's Paw to try and get a deal, because we need something. We need something here to make this run get going. And Guppy, like if we could become Guppy, obviously that would be huge, but uh, the odds of that actually happening are relatively low. At least, you know, on this floor. Maybe later in the run, but right now pretty low. And still no keys. Come on, game. I sincerely dislike these enemies, by the way. And the fact that they jump really close to you. There's a key. Alright, so we could go to our shop, but I am a penny short of being able to get into it. I suppose we could go check our, uh, our mob trap room. But the only thing that I'd really be interested in, in there, uh, in getting, I should say, would be in chests that we can't access but there we go so i hate to backtrack as far as i'm about to backtrack but i think it needs to be done for the sake of this run so we're gonna backtrack all the way back to the shop because we do have enough money to buy something like champion belt for example give us a nice damage upgrade at least some damage upgrade which is pretty good. And I guess while we're here, now that we can get into the mob trap room, let's at least check and see what's in here. One. Ah, uh, but I need a key. And you didn't give me a key. You gave me a bomb. I guess bombs are still useful. But now we have to fight through, like, all the enemies. There we go. At least we're getting some damage upgrades, and we've gotten speed upgrades. Like, the run is not amazing, but it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. We're on, like, the third floor. Oh, and we got a key. Thank you. That is actually what I wanted more than anything else was a key. Um, there are too many potential locations where our secret room could be, so I don't think we're going to look for it. We're going to save our bombs instead for things like tinted rocks and... Stuff like that, things that could really make a difference for us. And we don't have our second secret room connected to this floor. That was pretty bad. Oh, that was even worse. 
Let's just run into the enemy. That's a great plan. There we go. All right, Headless Horseman. So I think we focus on the horse first since his attacks cause creep. And creep, since I don't have the ability to fly, is exceptionally dangerous. So we're gonna focus on the horse first. And now we deal with the head. And I don't think the horse, the headless horseman counts as one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, so I don't think we'll get ball of bandages or cube of beat after this battle. But we're gonna see. No, we get the white pony, which actually, white pony, probably better for us than Guppy's paw. Um, it is a speed upgrade, but more importantly, it is uh, the ability to fly. And that is far more important for us. In fact, I should have taken it back to earlier in the level where I could have gotten a couple chests. I just, uh, I didn't think of it until after I left. I forgot that those were there. What's this? Speed upgrade, okay, fine by me. A little bit of money, fine, fine, fine. It's all good. Uh, let's just stand there and get hit, why don't we? Great plan. And we're not gonna use the active effect on the, uh, the pony. Partly because it's not that good, and partly because Vibrant Bulb. We would lose our, our stats upgrade from Vibrant Bulb if we use the, the uh, spacebar item, like, to attack. And the attack just isn't really that good anyway. It's just like a, a charge that deals a little bit of damage. But the biggest benefit here is the fact that we can now fly. From having the pony, this is a nasty room. Small rooms are probably the worst of, like, all the different types of rooms. Uh, I'm going to come over here. Where I can take out these enemies from a distance. Come on. And I'm actually, like, pretty safe over here, actually. That was close. You're dead. You're dead. And finally... The mushroom. Also dead. Okay. There's our shop, which I can access, but can't really buy anything from. So I think we're gonna save the key unless we find a little bit more money. Uh, I will stick with Dim Bulb over whatever the name of that one is. It basically causes extra knockback damage. Goodbye. Rip. What do we got in here? Monstro's Tooth. Uh, summons Monstro, it's okay. I I think I would rather go... Yeah, I think I'd rather go with Vibrant Bulb. Because the, the all stats upgrade just seems a lot more valuable to me. Got our bomb back at least. Okay. So that wasn't the best, uh, the best arcade, but at least we got a little bit out of it. Lost one bomb. Got a little bit of money. I'm just going to hang out over here where you guys can't hit me. And where I am safe. And another key. Thank you. So the key economy is finally, finally getting a little bit better. We're finally to the point where we're like, okay, we will have enough keys to get to our item room and all that kind of good stuff. Please kill the fat bat. I hate how much HP these guys have for early in the game. Like, they're just so annoying to deal with. Not because they're difficult, but just because they take forever to die. Come on. Ooh, that was close. That was a lot closer than it should have been. I also close. Bomb and a key, not bad, not bad. I'm trapped in a corner. Let's untrap ourselves from said corner. This thing is still spawning enemies? Like, really? That thing needs to go. This thing also needs to go. This champion. Oh, careful. Also. And then finally, the fat bat. Come on, fat bat. Die. There we go. Give me the key. Moving on. We're off to find our boss fight at this point. 
At least I'm fast, so I can dodge. Like, that counts for something. That's not a luxury you always get as Maggie. Come on, come on, come on. Die faster. We also have, like, no tier effects. Uh, sure. I will take a sp another speed up. Speed and range up. Paralysis. Paralysis is a terrible pill, but at least we took it in a situation where it doesn't really make any difference. We got a strength card, which is great, and a two of hearts, which is not so great. So I think we roll with the strength card. We can maybe use that to get an extra deal with the devil item or something on this floor that we wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Could be a, a good use for it. Second secret room? Nope. Alright. The Stain. One of my favorite bosses, really. Not, not really. I actually kind of hate this boss, but... Mostly because he just does this, like, bullet heli attack, which is very annoying. That one right there. Yep, I hate that attack. That's all right. We can get hit a couple times on this fight. Uh, I don't mean that to say, like, we should get hit a couple times in this fight game. I'm, I'm not saying, please hit me. I'm saying, oh, please don't waste all of our spirit hearts. Like, we should get a deal at the end of this if we don't royally mess this up. There we go. And magic mushroom. Awesome. All is forgiven. We're okay. Um, So we're going to use our strength card so that we can take all of these and only be down one heart. I think that's well worth it. All right. Away we go. Oh, wait a minute. Did that work? That did not work the way that I, I'm, I'm an idiot. Of course, I was going to lose my heart either way. Could have done it if I... Uh, that was not the proper use of the strength card, for the record. What I should have done instead is I should have waited until, like, later to take deals that I wouldn't otherwise be able to afford so that it wouldn't take a red heart from me at the end. Oh, hi. That's all right, though. We're, we're okay. Our HP's a little bit low, but we've got Dark Bum, which is going to help immensely. We've got good damage. We've got good... We have good stats in general. We can fly, thanks to the White Pony. Like... This, we're in a relatively good spot. I'm not overly concerned just yet. Um, we need to get rid of some of these poops. There we go. Uh, let's just get rid of all these, because otherwise I'm going to, like, accidentally run into them when I'm not paying attention, and it's going to be bad. All right, what do we get? Piercing shots. That's actually great. Cupid's arrow. I'm happy. What do we got in here? We are one guppy item away from becoming guppy. So I would really like to buy Hive Mind. That would be awesome. Uh, I do not like this. Okay. Kill the heart. Ah, that was bad. Come on. Kill the heart. Thank you. Hey, Dark Bum. Do your thing. Thank you. And if you're wondering, is Dark Bum good? The answer is yes. Dark Bum is amazing. The ability to take all those useless red hearts and turn them into soul hearts. Okay, get out of the way. Get out of the way. We're okay. It's fine. It's extremely valuable. Uh, what do we got in here? Okay, so we got a key and a and a, basically half a spirit heart out of that. That worked out. Can we please like take out the big ding wannabe dingle guy? There we go. So we're on the lookout for four more cents so we can buy Hive Mind. Sharp Plug is actually pretty good too, but uh, given our current setup, I don't think it's as valuable. Uh, okay. Well, I meant to go back and grab that, uh, but we'll get it after this room, I guess. Didn't mean to go through this door. There we go. We're just really fast is what it is. Please kill. Dark Bum. Spirit Hearts, please. Thank you. Self-sacrifice room. I think we... I, I'm sure we still need to kill Mega Satan as Maggie as well. But uh, I don't think now is the proper time to be using a self-sacrifice room. Because although the run is strong, it's a bit too early to see where it's going to end up. 
So I'd rather play it a little bit safer. There we go. Did we find... We did find our item room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking for four cents. And our boss. Haven't found our boss yet either. That dude is taking forever to die. There we go. These enemies are super annoyingly tanky as well, by the way. Okay, this will be... These guys are pretty easy with piercing shots, as you can see. Get some good damage there. Uh, definitely sticking with Vibrant Bulb. We'll open that. Take all that money. Another half a heart. So we are one cent away from Hive Mind. Which is something that I definitely want to get. Because if we become Guppy, Guppy and Hive Mind is quite the combo. Dark Bum, pick that up. You're not going to give me a heart, though. Because you just did. Oh, is this an... Oh, this is an XL floor. Oh, okay. So let's see if we can get a really good item out of here. We have bombs. Lots and lots of bombs. So far, none of these are that good. That'll do. So now we have explosive Ipecac shots and our damage is absurd, uh, which is both good and also terrifying. It means we can kill everything pretty easily. It also means that we have a very high chance of damaging ourselves. And it's very, it's kind of hard to aim these. Come on. Okay, so maybe it's this one spider. There we go. I gotta say, I'm kind of regretting this. So we'll pop the lover's card because Dark Bomb will be able to do something with it. Thank you. Um... Okay. Come on. What do we have that sometimes... Oh, you know what? It's Fate's Reward that sometimes shooting a second one. Okay, gotcha. Not our secret room. That's also not our secret room. That could be our second secret room? No. Oh, we do have the money to buy Hive Mind. Although Hive Mind with Ipecac is not as good. But, at the same time... Mmm, getting too close. Hierophant. Absolutely. Uh, should have checked to see. Is one of these Yara? Yeah, of course one of them is a Yara rune. So we got a moon card and a magician card. I think we're gonna pop the Yara rune. So we can get more spirit hearts. And we're gonna take a moon card with us. Because it's a teleport card. That was close. Spirit Hearts. Thank you. We are running a little slow on this run. I will say that much. Let's check these for potential Spirit Hearts. Glad I did. That was a good decision. Get out of the way. I think this run has finally popped off, thanks to Ipecac. I'm actually super glad that we spent all that time uh, and and kept going through the uh, the reroll machine. Because if we hadn't, none of those other items would have had nearly the impact that this did. That ought to do it. A little bit more. Nope, no spirit hearts. Okay. Still looking for our boss fight. Ah, uh, that was bad. What's this? Chariot? I'll stick with my teleport card. Thank you. Oh, that was bad. Oh, found our secret room. Our second secret room, actually. Even better. What do we got in here? A ton of pills. Please let this be a good pill. That's not a good pill. Friends till the end is okay. Range down is not good. Uh, especially with Ipecac. Let's see. Oh, we, we did find our boss fight. We found it earlier. I just didn't go into it because I don't think... I forget why, but I had a reason. Uh, but let's buy Hive Mind. And let's buy a 3 cent Spirit Heart. Uh, and actually, might as well try and get a better deal chance if we can. 
not a secret room. Okay. There's not that many more places that a secret room could be. Not over there. What do we got in here? Guppy? <laughs> Guppy items? Careful. Fire? Not guppy items. Ah, that was bad. There we go. Well, relatively easily cleared the room there. Balls of steel is great. 48 hour energy is great. Explosive diarrhea is not so great. Could be, but I think the teleport card is our most valuable, uh, our most valuable option here. We're also going to head back to the shop now that we have 15 cents again, since there is a reroll machine. And we're going to see if we can get something good from our shop. La uh, Nun's habit's pretty good. Yeah, we'll do Nun's habit. Not so good for our current spacebar item, but who knows? We may replace... Oh, come back, you. We may replace our spacebar item at some point, in which case we'll be glad we took Nun's habit. Pay the key tax, as we often do. And let's fight our bosses. Ah, let's not stand in the middle of the brimstone guy. Let's not stand in the middle of the brimstone guy, self? Come on. Okay, well. And we're fighting mom. And we have roughly a one in three chance of getting a deal at the end of this floor. I think I've taken red heart. Oh, hi. I didn't even see you. I think I've taken red heart damage on this floor. That was close. Okay. There we go. Got it. And we are going to the dark room. So we're taking the negative. So no deal. Hopefully we'll get a deal on this floor. Oh, that was not where I wanted to be. Did we clear everything? I guess we did. Oh, nope, we didn't. Couldn't see him. Came out of nowhere. Dark bum. Turn those into turn that into a spirit heart for me. Thank you. That's actually a couple of pretty good items. <laughs> <coughs> Except I can't actually take any of them <laughs> because the only way I can actually get to them is by flying, and I have flight through the use of my spacebar item. So I'm going to actually pick both of these up just to take them out of the item pool because although they're okay, they're not that good, and then I'm just going to move on. Our shots do so much damage, though. 69 damage? That's mostly thanks to Magic Mushroom and Ipecac. Ipecac gives you a base of 40, but then Magic Mush gives you a giant uh, multiplier on it, so pretty good. Come on. Ah, ran into the red poop. That's okay. So it's got to be this way. This has to be the way to go. We're just going to kind of clear... Oh, that was pretty bad. We're going to kind of clear through these as quickly as we can. We're way behind schedule. I just realized that. Like, we're only on the womb one, and this is the time where we would be fighting... Um, Hush. Like, we had to... We had to beat the womb two a couple minutes ago just to fight Hush. I think it's because we spent so much time exploring all the floors looking for keys in the early game. Careful. There we go. So it kind of did us in on that front. Uh, let's check our secret room. Our secret room has a Yara rune. Mm, yeah, that's probably worth it. Because the thing is, right, like Dark Bum is going to give us spirit hearts at some point over the course of this run. We're going to get more spirit hearts and we can double it with um we can double it with Yara. Infested. Infested is fine. Just keep firing. There's one more over here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. All right. We have squandered a lot of health on this floor. Didn't we have, like, a ton of... Uh, and that's how we did it, right there. Getting hit. What? 
Oh, hi. These enemies. Uh, do we Yara the single spirit heart? I don't think so. I think we save the Yara rune for when there's at least two spirit hearts on the floor so we get more value out of it. What's this? Ace of clubs. Nope, definitely stick with Yara. Okay, there we go. Not the secret room. Secret room? Secret room. Be the one with all the red hearts. That'll work. We'll Yara that. Glad we saved the Yara rune. That was the right call. Um, let's see. What do we got? More spirit hearts up here. And an angel statue that won't actually drop a key. There we go. And an angel statue that's about to be dead. Very dead. That was one of the best secret rooms that we have ever had in Isaac, like, bar none. That worked really well. Might as well take the Ace of Clubs. It's not really super useful for us, but could be at some point. You never know. There we go. Daddy Long Legs is dead. Range upgrade is garbage. And the Pact is probably worth taking. Yeah, we'll take it. Damage plus tears up. The damage we don't really need. The tears up is kind of nice, though. Let's us fire a little bit faster. I see no reason not to. Because the red hearts at this point aren't really doing us that much good. Especially since we have Dark Bum. I was a little bit too close to the rock. So, one of my shots hit the rock. There we go. These guys are all going down pretty easily. Come on. Get it, get it in there. There we go. Dark bum. Spirit heart, please. I thank you. Oh, this is pretty bad. But uh, we made it through. Was it worth a spirit heart for all this stuff? Maybe. Empress card is pretty good. Uh, there's another spirit heart? Oh, there is another spirit heart. Cool. Didn't even know that was there. Trying to concentrate here a little bit, avoid taking unnecessary bad damage, as I have done a lot over the course of this run. Ipecac is dangerous for this reason right here. Like, is it powerful? Absolutely. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh, we'll do one of those. And I just realized that these are all the types that shoot at you, so... So basically, we, uh, we pretty much broke even on that room. Because Dark Bum gave us a spirit heart, but then we used a spirit heart to come out of it. Once again, standing on top of the rocks with Ipecac. Not recommended. I also hate those little guys. So, we're going to do one of these. Another spirit heart? Nope. Not that time. There we go. All these batteries. Mostly useless for me since I have no... Uh, I don't have a, an item that I intend to use. Like, spacebar-wise. Ah, that was pretty bad. Double key room. Might as well check it. That was a really bad double key room. At least we got a key back. So basically, we wasted a key there. Ah, uh, bad again. Not the secret room. Okay. We're burning through hearts yet again. It's so hard to avoid sometimes with Ipecac, because the shots are, like, right in your face. Like, explosion immunity would be so incredibly useful. Guppy? Guppy! Uh, and you know what? We don't need the ability to fly anymore. Hmm. And we, you know, and we bought Hive Mind. So yeah, you know what? We can fly without it. We're not going to use it all the time. Okay, there we go. Speed upgrade's good. Might as well check these rooms. 
There we go. Dark Bum, turn that into a spirit heart, please. I would greatly appreciate it. And that is a tinted rock. There we go. Very nice, very nice. All right. So now we're fighting It Lives. Wow, that was the easiest fight ever. Uh, and you know what? A huge part of it was the guppy items. Because the flies do twice my damage. My damage is 70. And then Hive Mind, I believe, doubles that. So we're talking like 280 damage per fly or something insane along those lines. Like, a single fly just destroys everything. So this is a very powerful run, which is good. It didn't start that way. It took us a little while to kind of get that uh, where we wanted it to be. We'll do one of those. And, you know, at this point, we might as well. Okay. Nice and easy. And we should get another... Oh, actually, we're full on spirit hearts. Dark bomb. You're going to spit out a couple more spirit hearts, right? Yep. So we can go back for those if we do take damage, and we probably will. Let's... Okay. I don't even know what just happened there, but whatever. What's that? Speed downgrade. Not so good, but we got a speed upgrade earlier, so it's fine. And this is not... Oh, there's... Oh, there's more. Okay. Duly noted. There we go. Let's not get hit by that. That was close. Degas rune is worth holding, I think. The nasty, a uh, nasty curse could do some pretty bad things for us. That was a bad. That was pretty bad. What do we got over here? Free key. So our boss basically has to be this way. The only direction we haven't been yet. Spirit Heart? There we go. Thank you. Money that I'm not going to use. And bombs that I'm also probably not going to use. I'm feeling this way to the boss. And we are building up a lot of flies. The reason I'm not using Guppy's head at this point is mostly because of Vibrant Ball, but I'm thinking about it. And I'm kind of thinking, yeah, let's get shoop de whoop because shoop de whoop generates a billion flies. I think shoop de whoop is probably better for us than Guppy's, uh, Guppy's head for certain circumstances. It's basically like a one-time use. Wow, look at that. We just walk into a room and things die. Ooh, steam sale. Very useful, considering there are no shops left. Okay. Go fight the boss. Mega Satan. You're dead. You're dead. And you're about to be dead. Nice and easy. Oh, that's right. There's a second phase. I'd kind of forgotten about that, but that's all right. So now we're down to the dark room. We've unlocked Guardian Angel. Uh, no curse. So we'll pop her to God's room because this will be our last floor. I don't think there's really anything we need here. Paralysis is bad. That's infested. I am excited, which is terrible. And 48 hour energy, which is good. I'm excited basically is going to make all of these enemies start going super fast at some point, which is terrifying, but our flies should allow us to deal with it. Just like that. And we're also looking for our secret rooms and stuff as we go through here. Okay, there we go. So secret room, secret room. Secret room. Nope. None of the above. This way it is. Mm, still managed to get hit. I'm so good at this game. I'm very scared of rooms like that where I can't tell where the enemies are. Okay. 
We will find our secret room. It's gonna happen. Because we're basically gonna bomb, like, every hole in every, like, every possible wall of every room until we do find it. Okay. And now there's just one spider, which is actually super annoying to deal with as, as, uh... D7. Reroll rewards. Eh, no thank you. I'll stick with Shoop-de-Woop. That's... Oh, uh, mm, This is gonna be three items. So, PhD. Tractor Beam, I think, is pretty cool with Ipecac. Eh, moderately. And Piggy Bank will, uh... Allow us to... Drop money whenever we get hit. Possibly drop money whenever we get hit. Not a guarantee, but it's a possibility. That was super bad. Paralysis turns into pheromones, which is terrible. We've got 48 RNG, friends till the end. Friends till the end. Yeah, basically just a lot of 48 RNG pills and, and pheromones. Uh, we'll, we'll take the 48 hour energy, I guess. I was hoping we'd get like a... With PhD, I was hoping we'd get like... I don't know, something useful. And I don't know if, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure that uh, Tractor Beam was the best idea. Because normally what I what I do a lot with Ipecac is I fire and then, like, move to the side to avoid getting blown up. And I can't do that with Tractor Beam. Because the shots stay directly in front of me. So whether or not this was a good idea remains to be seen. But we're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. We'll see what happens. There we go. Not a secret room. Oh, ow. You're all dead? They're all dead. Mm, got a key. Okay. What would be awesome is if we could, like, not get dead in the process of making it to the lamb. And if we could get some red hearts to drop, that would actually be great. I don't think that's too much to ask. Mr. Mega of hearts emperor card hmm emperor card might be the way to go maybe just to teleport directly to the lamb cuz i think we could i think we could beat the lamb like this at the same time though we haven't found either of our secret rooms Oh, there's our boss right there. So knowing where our boss is, what we'll probably do is use our teleport, our Emperor card, to just work our way back to the boss, save ourselves a little bit of backtracking. There's one of our secret rooms. Which one? This one. Okay. What do we got? Awas, Yera, Yera, Hagalaz, Awas. So... Um, I might as well take Yera. The rest of them are all pretty much useless. Oh, you're not all dead. I thought you were all dead, but I guess not. Oh, Pyromaniac. Okay, so now we are set. We can't uh, heal ourselves with it, unfortunately, but we are immune to explosions at this point. So that's amazing for us. Range up is fine. Range. Take the air rune. Uh, let's, let's peek this down here. Why not? And that means we can just fire away. Like, we don't have to worry about whether we're standing too close or, or any of that kind of stuff. All right. Um. Do, 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 do. So I guess at this point we just go fight the boss. Let's go for it. This is going to be one of those boss fights, isn't it? That was extremely anticlimactic. Oh, but. But. The Void Floor calls. <clears throat> and I do think we have a run that is capable of beating the Void Floor. So we're going to go for it and see what happens. Uh, would love to have a Degas rune right now. Get rid of this curse. Especially since this is going to be a relatively long floor. Uh, I probably should have yared that, but I didn't think of it. Oh, no, it was just that room. Okay. So the Curse of Darkness was not... Uh, it was not the whole floor, it was just that one room. That's actually really good. And we can just keep firing. 
Because Pyromaniac is amazing. And if it explodes in my face, who cares? Not this guy. Keys, bombs, that means we're also going to get a bunch more items here as well. Or at least it's likely that we will. Uh, we're also going to take a little bit of damage, it appears. Any secret rooms? Doesn't appear so. So this is basically just a dead end. Fine. It would be nice if we had some red hearts. If we did, we would be essentially invincible. And there is a reasonable chance that we'll get at least some sort of an HP upgrade from fighting some of the other bosses here. So I think we want to fight uh, Delirium last, if we can. That way we can't. Okay, well, Guppy, save me. I was not wanting this to be Delirium just yet. Just because this is a fight that could really go either way. Like, our damage is amazing, but Delirium is nasty. Uh, Magician? Sure, we'll pop it. That should basically make our tears home. Hi. Well, and you know what? I don't have to be... I don't have to worry if I'm, like, too close. I can just fire. Yeah, we got this. Delirium is dead, for sure. Did we... I don't know if we got hit. Like, at this fight, the, the, the fight's not quite over. We could still get hit, but I don't know if we actually got hit on the Delirium fight. Oh, there it is. Either way, Delirium is toast. So, there we go. Maggie, with the Ipecac everything run. Not bad at all. Guys, that is going to do it. For today's episode, we've unlocked the Eucharist, which is basically uh, guaranteed angel deals. So pretty cool. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.